It's another RV12 build session here at the EAA Chapter 166 construction hangar in Hartford, Connecticut. Still knee deep in structural metal for the little RV12. Lots of rivets, plenty of aluminum. But you know, there are two things that you generally don't like to talk about when it comes to metal airplanes. And that's bent metal. But that's exactly the task at hand for tonight's build session. As always, Rick Montero's got a good explanation. So Rick, in the last uh, build segment, we were uh, completing the service bulletin, uh, beefs up the tail section, and uh, at the end of that segment, we were talking about what's behind us here, which is the uh, midsection fuselage and bending some Londrons, which we'll get to in a minute, but how about a recap as to where we're at with this project moving into May of 2022 and uh, starting to look like an airplane. We've completed the service bulletin in installation on the tail cone, so that involved putting some clips between the uh, bulkheads and the lower skin. So we had to do that on all three bulkheads. So we've completed that operation. And uh, the other thing we were doing the last time was working on the uh, lower firewall assembly. And uh, since then we've completed the assembly and uh, have actually mounted it now to the uh, mid fuselage assembly. So uh, some things that we learned there um, were that uh, um, the steps, you actually have to remove the steps that you install on the mid fuselage um, when you install, as you're installing the uh, lower firewall. It actually makes it easier to install and uh, there are some rivets um, on the bottom here that uh, you cannot get to unless you remove those steps. So uh, talking to Vans, what they recommend is, you know, you, you install them just to get the fit right, but then remove them for the rest of the assembly and you can install, reinstall them later. Okay, so what we're working on now is the uh, installing the longerons. So to do that, there's a number of forming operations you have to go through. But the purpose of a longeron is basically to give stiffness to the overall fuselage. And what Vans does is they give you a, a piece of essentially angle aluminum, so it has a 90 degree angle to it. Um, and it, it comes as a straight piece. So we have to do a number of forming steps. So one of the first forming steps that they have you do is uh, actually spread the 90 degree angle to a uh, 95 degree angle and then they ask you to basically twist the angle to get it flat again after you've done that spreading operation so you have to twist it by about three degrees or just under three degrees and then you have to uh, bend the overall length to take the shape of the uh, fuselage and then the final step is to bend the very aft end of the uh, longeron to, to match the shape of the fuselage at the trailing edge. So what we can do, what we're planning to do tonight, is actually do some of the forming operations on the other longeron, and uh, perhaps we can show you exactly how we go about doing it. So Rick, when it comes to bending the longerons, uh, you sort of have to get creative with this stuff, too. It isn't, isn't quite one way to get it done, right? Yeah, so you're right. Uh, there's a number of ways you can do it. So uh, what we found that worked for us was that, uh, as I mentioned before, there's a number of forming operations you have to do. The first one is to uh, basically spread open that 90 degree angle and make it 95 roughly. And what we found that worked for us was using a template, we found some hard wood would actually work that actually we made and shaped to that 95 degree put it into the uh, inside of the channel there and then placed it in a vise and squeezed it and kept repeating that until we got the 95 degree spread. So that worked fairly well for us. And then the next operation is um, to clamp it up into the, uh, the vise and then use a pair of channel locks or um, right and then we just basically twist it. So you put the channel locks here and you then twist it like that and deform it until you get the right, the right twist into it. And so we've done that already with this piece and what we're ready to do next is actually use uh, some dies that we got from Buller Enterprises and uh, it'll help us uh, actually put the bend into the uh, longeron. And um, 
So there's instructions, uh, obviously, in the drawings that tell you where you need to start and stop the bend. And uh, this works very well. This, this basically set of dies, you put it in the uh, vise, squeeze it in the vise, and it puts a gentle bend in. And you sort of increment that an inch at a time until you get to the stopping point. Hey, so the uh, next milestone on the project is once we get these longerons bent is actually to mount them onto the fuselage along with the uh, canopy decks and uh, the side skins will be coming on pretty soon as well. So uh, it's uh, some exciting work and uh, as we get the side skins on it's going to look more and more like a real airplane. So we're really excited about that.